Hi viewers and subscribers. Hi dear friends. Today we are going to have uh, two important things in our channel in this video. The one part is uh, Srivarsan is going to explain about the nuclear fission and myself I am going to explain one important need question based on the nuclear fission. So let us move on to the uh, nuclear fission explanation by Srivarsan now. Hi guys, before explaining about nuclear fission, everyone must know what is mean by an atom. We know that Every material in the universe is made up of an atom. Even my body is also made up of an atom. Now you all can see that my body is going to turn into an atom. Now you all can see that my body is shrinking, shrinking. Now I am out of the universe. Now you can see that my body has turned into an atom. You can see that my atom is slowly regaining into its original position which is made up of infinite atoms. So, I hope you all got an idea about the atom. You can see that I am slowly regaining my original shape from that atom. So, I hope you all are happy by seeing my original shape. Can you see anything in my hand? See, there is nothing in my hand. So, you saw nothing in my hand. Now, you could see a beautiful atom slowly arising in my hand. I hope you could see this atom. Now I am going to leave this atom to float on the space. You can see that the atom is slowly moving away from my hand. Now you can see the atom in an enlarged way. Now you could see a nucleus in the center of the atom in a shining way. You can see the atom floating in the space. We know that a high velocity neutron is required to split the nucleus into two nuclei. Now you could see a high velocity neutron hitting the atom to split up the nucleus into two nuclei. Now you could see the reaction of nuclear fission that is AB plus high velocity neutron gives C plus D. Mass of the reactant is greater than the mass of the product. Yeah, Srivatsan has explained uh, the nuclear fission process very nicely. Now we are going for the session of uh, the question which has been asked in heat. Now we can able to see a small atom in my hand and I just projecting the question now see here the question has been projected slowly like this you can able to read the question now see here and again so finally you can able to read the question now very clearly now I am just standing this question as it is and giving, giving my hands down now now we can able to see the question now very clearly so there are two nuclei M1 and M2 which has been encircled and the resulting nucleus is given as M3 and there are four options in which you can see now the option A has been given now so option A has been given you can able to read the option A and see the option B you can able to see the option B then you can able to see option C also and finally with option D so I hope you got the option A, option B, option C and option D to explain this question uh, which has been asked in each so I am going to consider myself as M1 so you can able to see the mass of myself as M1 so you can able to see my image very clearly and we are going to take it as M1 now we are going to, I am going to introduce a new friend who is called M2 he is going to come now hi M2 hi M1 so I just want to have a meet with you now yes thank you I want to be with you backside of you so now M1 is there my friend and M2 is mine you can able to see both the peoples as M1 and M2. Hi, I am M1. I am going to join with M2 now. Hello, I am M2. I am going to come in with M1 now. Wow, I got a new birth. M3. Thank you M1 and M2. Thank you so much. I got a new M3. Something I am getting lost in my body. I am losing some energy and mass. Oh my God, I am shrinking, shrinking. Oh, thank you. Finally, I got my M3. Now we can able to see M1 in front of me, M2 in front of me and also M3 in the left hand side. Now you tell me, as per the given question, which I am going to enlarge it now, see here. I am just going to enlarge it here. You got the question now. So now just tell me, which mass is lesser than M1 and M2? If you see the diagram, there is mass M1 and mass M2 and mass M3. Tell me, which mass is very smaller here? Yes, you are right. M3 is smaller. And if you have M1 plus M2, M1 plus M2 will be greater than M3. Or otherwise, we can say 
M3 is less than the sum of M1 plus M2. So where is that option lies? The option lies in option C, M3 less than M1 plus M2. I hope you enjoyed the session. So what you have to do now? You have to view the, this particular video completely and you have to subscribe my channel which is so important and share to all of your friends. So to meet with again, we we'll go for another shortcut method very soon. Until then, bye bye and see you.